So now I've got the box made, we're going to look at how we make the lid. Um, there's a few things we'll, we'll talk about when, when making the lid. Um, the first thing obviously is you choose the same shape that you have uh, made before. So you'd go to your primitives, you go polygon, um, and you're going to choose your shape. Now you're going to want to make this larger than your original one. So if you don't remember how big your original one is, um, you're going to have to measure that. And I'll show you in a second how we do that measurement. Um, so I did my first one 20, so I want to make the next one about 25, for example. And just confirm that it would be bigger if I put it on, if I put it underneath, yeah, it would actually overhang. So that's what I want. So I'd go 25, and I'd place it down. Um, I'm going to extrude it up approximately 5 millimeters. It's not a huge deal how big, how thick you make that. Push enter. And now you've got a uh, shape like that. So now what I want to do is, um, well there's a couple things you can do. You could go from the bottom if you wanted. Um, so you're just going to have to go from the bottom. So to get there you could either click on this thing and go down like that, and get to the bottom, or you can just right click and get there. Um, then you're going to do another uh, shape. This time, um, you're going to make it slightly bigger than your original one. So if my original one was 20, I would want to make it like 21 so that it um, fits outside of it. And then you just put it in the center. Now you're going to have to extrude that one upwards. So just you want to make sure you notice, okay, so it's pointing upwards, so that's the direction I want to go and um, you're going to extrude it about, let's say, two and a half millimeters, or three, somewhere in there. Just so there's a lip on it, so that it will actually sit on top. Um, obviously, if you go five, that would make it all the way through, and we don't want that. So that's how we get the, the lip underneath to make it fit on there. Now, you could, if you want to, you could take this and um, rotate it. So if you want it um, off-center like the other one, or you could just leave it as it is, and then that will make your lid sit off center um, in the end. So I'm going to leave this one. I didn't leave it on the other one. I changed it, but we'll leave it on this one. So that's how you make your lid. Um, I'll do a separate video for the handle. So I'm just showing you from different angles. I'll do a separate video for the handle just so it doesn't get too long.